the people them want gun, you know. Imagine the woman just there in the yard. And she said, Mr. Owner, man, just a backing people. Watch it. The man just a backing like a gas in company. But no, 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 no. I sell in the man company, you know. I sell in the man company for the people them not a gun. And your gun is dead inside the liquor. Because no gun is no dead, you hear ya? Nobody ain't laughing in the comment section, me a laugh already. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Change your relationship with others by improving your connection to who you are. Trust yourself and your choices more. Happiness happens when you work on your healing and focus on how you want to feel. Connect with the real you by having faith in your abilities and possibilities. Build your strength to overcome what holds you back by believing you have what it takes to thrive. Yes, people, I owe me a chat to you now. Well, I'm glad the people, hope everybody is okay, hope everybody is all right. Yet another Friday morning, me get up and find myself alive. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely, surely, surely not amongst the dead. A long time in action for an amen, you know. So can I get an amen? Can I get an amen from you, you, you? A matter of fact, call your friend them to and tell themselves to come, come right to and look at amen, no man. Anyway, now people, one only person think I can look at the news. I see one only for people I message me and I ball and I say one only for things. But nobody feel like I'm going to feel sorry for you. No, 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 no. I always tell you, no. Don't put it in the hands of the justice system. But say that now, the boy get off a murder. And guess what? All that little dead left money belongs to him and him alone now. Yes, people, I'm sorry, try it round there, so I make a DPP tell you, oh, then drop ball. Yes, people, oh, then drop ball. Them could have convinced a murderer. But anyway, I'll start the news as first. A man who fled after reportedly jumping from a car and threw away a legal firearm two months ago has been held and charged by the police in St. Mary. Devon Plunkett, yes, a 39-year-old farmer from Albion Mountain Parish, was charged with possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. It's reported about 10.30 p.m. on May 9, 2023. That was the day Plunkett feather should have get picked, but guess what? Biggie that police them Japi Ball. Yes, people. Plunkett was a passenger in a white Mazda motor car driven by a female along the Haywood All Main Road in Port Maria. Police said members of the Era 2 team approached the vehicle, during which a man jumped from the car, dropped a blue grocery bag, and jumped over a precipice. Right in a one gully side, the boy jumped. The bag was achieved, and the police said they found a black 9mm pistol loaded with a magazine containing three cartridges. Police is to a warrant and launch a man on for Plunkett. He was recently held in an operation and a warrant executed on him. No court date has been given for the accused. Let me tell you something. More funeral service and less court date. That is it. Anyway, now people, watch your gun, power your gun. Right back in a Mount Wagle. The girl has stabbed up the boy. Finally get her name. An 18-year-old woman has been charged with murder following the stabbing death of a man in Mount Ogle District, St. Andrew, on Saturday, July 8th. Death is 29-year-old Ryan Ress, a laborer of the community. Charge is Russell Watts, otherwise called Miss Chin, a bartender of Mount Ogle District. Report reaching the news seems that about 8.30 p.m., Watts and West was having a dispute when the accused armed herself with a knife and stabbed West in the upper body. The police were summoned up on the rival. Guess what, people? Them see West Pandy Gong lead on dead, dead, dead. They just pick up your knife, pick up West and throw him in the vehicle, cash she got a car up, and that was it. Anyway, now, back at Portland, began. A Portland tax operator who allegedly attempted to suffocate his common law wife in May had been granted bail in the sum of $800,000. All this boy never forget no bail, you know. This boy just to get slapped in the paper, me tell him the truth, I waste a waste of time, you know. And I give them a boy a chance to live. No, 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 people. 
Them a boy that deserve life. Me tell them the truth. Him name runs to at them at 37. Everybody supposed to know him. And I cannot believe it. John Jacobs and Courtney Rowe. And them in you know, the people. And them the two lawyer boy there. You know. Him have as attorney. You know. And them forget slap it too. Me tell them the truth. The man a lawyer forget slap it. So what I said, I mean what I said. Do me already. Now take it back. Three members of the notorious. Only the family are... OTF gang, two women and one man, have been arrested. The gang members were arrested on Thursday morning during operation by the Joint Anti-Gang Task Force. Don't know if they're going to waste time because they didn't answer that nobody. In Greenpoint, St. James. One of the women is a 48-year-old businesswoman. The other, a 22-year-old customer service representative. While the man is a 26-year-old businessman. All three have addresses in Greenpoint, St. James. Our new team understand that you see them three people, them old, them old land pan. A matter of fact, that gang there are them responsible for the local chain of illegal weapons and ammunition. They need the police, them, they know all of this. Ah, so like, them should have slap out them head back when they go round there. This morning, members of this joint anti gang task force, basically specialized ops and the military, um, carried out a targeted operation in the Green Pond area of St. James. During that operation, so the premises were searched where five weapons were found and a large quantity of ammunition. Three persons have been arrested thus far, I can confirm. Um, there are some other persons being targeted in this operation, so it is continuing and we should hopefully see some additional results. Anyway, now, people, more news. And guess what? Yeah, man, we know so not exactly how for time now. A pile of time. Paula Llewellyn is defending her office effort in the case of a man accused of involvement in the murder of his stepmother, Andrea Lou Garwood. The case against Javier Garwood collapsed in the Trelawney Circuit Court on Thursday. He was found not guilty. I remember, I remember, good me, they come, come, tell you, no. Not from yesterday. But, I remember Paula telling exactly what going on, what going on, why the case collapsed, and how them couldn't convince the Chigaman man to take a play deal. I tell you, no people, I'm going to bangle yourself and do away from the justice system because them know if you feel. Them know if you feel worse. You have one brother when you spikes or strikes or whatever, Ibo and him. Big sellout. Recognized that we would not have been in a position to take the case any higher. That being so, ethically, we had to offer no further evidence. Certainly, his lordship, the Chief Justice, agreed and directed the jury to return a formal verdict of not guilty. We had been making strenuous efforts for at least the last year to engage Mr. Bingham that is a trigger man or the actual killer of Miss, Mrs. Garwood to enter plea negotiations with the prosecution in order to come to a formal plea deal. We use moral suasion. We tried to, if it is possible, through his attorney to appeal to, dare I call it conscience, but to no avail. He refused to cooperate and we had to put up what we had in the public interest to see how far we could go. Part of the split screen of a prosecutor can understand the pain, the agony, the trauma that would have been felt by the family of the deceased, by the church community who are in that church, by the wider community, and by the Jamaican public. But the other part of the split screen has to look objectively and unemotionally, without any emotion, at what the law says makes up circumstantial evidence that when it is put together, it rises to the required threshold as a matter of law. I have directed my senior deputy that in terms of the sentencing hearing for Mr. Bingham, we certainly will be asking the court 
in terms of our recommendation, given the circumstances of the case, to go at, to the highest, the highest end of the range in respect. Of course, life imprisonment, but to the highest end of the range, at the top end, as it relates to eligibility, serving a term of years before parole is considered. Anyway, now people are trying to go on for a go on. The ball is stuck in the midfield because people them pan this aside here say, what you know, man? The youth should have got prison just like the chigga man. You understand? Because I him organized the murder. And I'm going to say, well, I look on the other half of the pitch. The man, the man said, no, 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 my view. Andrea get exactly where she deserve. You understand? Oh, she, if you just want all of the money, so. And the youth don't forget nothing. The youth have a right to fix our business. Forget the dead left. I say, you think people easy? People let know everybody business, you know. But one thing me have to say, it is none of my concern. Where the money go, who oh, want get the money? Who oh, want dead left the money? Because somebody got to die, somebody got to live. And speaking of who got to die, me know say the people them supposed to say, yes, finally, my view are ready one news. I will not get no fresh death. They not going to no sense. Then all who don't have no sense and no say this is Jamaica way. Somebody dead every single day. It's just a matter of time before they hear who they dead the day before that. But anyway, right around the West End Negril. They man them kill cash way. Let me tell you something about this Abu Aya. Him a one scammer. Yeah, him a one scammer and not only that. The people them say my view involved in a bad stage business. You understand? That's how the people them say because the people them know him. He said, people, all I'm inside get lick out. Yes, all I'm inside get lick out. No, all the problem with the pan in white marina still. You understand? And him never have a chance to live. Because guess why? Boy, pants don't the pan in waist. He boy pants to the pan in waist. You understand, people? So whoever come for him, you know what you watch? When you pants to the pan in waist, you can't run and can't run go too far. So then just lick out the whole I made back. Him not drop pan in face. In Japan, him back and I look up in the sky. I don't know how to look up if I know people because him dead, dead, dead. Come, come look at the picture. There's a picture for sure now.